Hello, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to go for the catalog flashback for all the RDC items. See you straight. If you don't know, the RDC is a Roblox developer conference where they basically invite developers to discuss changes and also award those that were successful throughout the year. And this started with 2015 where they had their first developer conference and this has been a tradition that has continued since then. And I'm going to go over all the items from all the developer conferences because even though there has been quite a few, there aren't actually that many items from them. So I'm going to just go over the items that were awarded from those events. And even though the Roblox Developer Conference started in 2015, they didn't actually have their first item until 2016. So this first item we have over here is the RDC 2016 Game Jam Trophy. And the Game Jam is basically where you have a limited time to actually create a game. And you can do it with a group of developers. And the best games that come from that short time period are awarded these trophies. Sometimes there are ones for just participating and sometimes there are ones for having the best game. And this one was awarded to the top three finalist teams. So these are actually pretty rare and very difficult to find. Only those that were in the best teams actually got this and those people might not even wear this item. But it still looks pretty cool. As you can see it does have some particle effects so that's pretty interesting. And this is how it looks like on a character. So it looks pretty cool. It is a gear and as we get into the later ones as they stopped using gears they have to get a bit creative on where to put the trophies. This is one of the last ones that were actually gears. So pretty cool one. Next we move on to 2017. They did make a different kind of trophy this year which also has particle effects and it looks pretty cool and there's also this builder's trophy right over here which looks pretty much the same it does have the different name over here this one was for the game jam and this one is for a building competition they had that year and if you wear them they actually look a bit different this is the one for the game jam it looks pretty fun basically how you would expect it to go and this is the one for the building competition so you can see it's a bit smaller right over here and it looks kind of like a remote for the tv so pretty interesting that they made them a bit different right there but still pretty cool trophies they were able to get if you did actually end up being being the winners of this building competition or being once again the top three finalist teams for the game jam. Now next up right over here we do have a bit more items to go for with the 2018 RDC. This one they actually gave a participation prize so if you just participated in the game jam you would just win this nice trophy which looks pretty cool. It has the new logo on it as well and once again it is a gear still so it looks pretty cool. You can definitely make a nice little outfit with that one and not many people own these once again so pretty difficult to find it. And then right over here they did have trophies specifically for third, second, and first place winners. So even though you might have gone first place in this game jam, the other two prizes for second and third place might have a similar amount of owners. So they're all pretty rare. They all look pretty cool. There's this bronze one for a third place, silver one for second place, and this gold one which is a bit bigger than the other two for first place. So definitely a good prize if you're able to win this contest. The next over here we do have our Roblox Developer Conference 2019 and they have a bit of a different item. This isn't actually a trophy. We have the Icebreaker Commando and this is definitely a fan favorite of those that actually didn't get to go to the Roblox Developer Conference because Commandos were very popular at this time and a lot of people actually like this one. And it looks pretty nice, the colors are really nice and it has a little RDC in the back as well so if you forget where it's from you can always refer to the back of the item. And if you wear it over here it just goes basically just how you expect it to go like all the other Commandos and you were actually able to get this one from completing a little icebreaker puzzle so that's pretty cool that they had a little challenge to do for the attendees of this event. Next we have more participation trophies and winner trophies similar to the year before. This one is a bit different. It has the blue logo instead of the red one and this is the participation one looks like pretty cool. Looks like you're kind of holding nothing but it still looks like a pretty nice item to get. And then of course we have the top three prizes. The bronze one right over here, the silver and the gold but the gold is the same size as the other two this year. Next we move on to developer conference 2020 which is a pretty nice one. They did give a lot more prizes to just the attendees so those that just attended were able to actually get some nice items. They have a shirt right over here which is pretty nice. There is this little backpack with a soda and they also gave in person and sodas that were based on the Bloxy Cola too, which is a really nice touch to this. They have a little lanyard right over here, a lapel pin, and we do have another commando this year. So we're seeing a lot of the same kind of items gear beaded, but just a bit different. So this is a pretty cool one. This is actually the last commando that we've gotten, so they ended it in 2020, but maybe who knows with the upcoming or Lost of the Confluence, they might make another one. But this is a pretty cool one. It definitely looks pretty tropical. It has RDC in the back once again, but it has a nice little color combination to it, so pretty nice one. And this is how they all look like on a character. This shirt basically looks like expect it to go. The backpack is definitely made for the blocky avatar which you can see has a lot of space in between on the non-blocky avatars so that might be a bit of a problem but it still looks pretty nice on a character. The lanyard also looks like it's made for blocky avatar but still looks pretty nice. The pin right over there it goes a bit inside the torso but still a nice item to have gotten for the attendees and the commando works pretty well with a lot of outfits so definitely a pretty nice item to get for those that attended. And then once again we did get some prizes for the game jam but this time they switched it up a bit. They do have a participation prize. It does look a bit different 
different as this is where they stopped gears, so they changed it into hats and back accessories, but there were also prizes for different categories this time. So this was the participation prize, it's basically just a trophy flipped on the head. I think it would have looked better probably if it was just regularly standing up. It's pretty interesting, they did follow this trend the following year as well. And this is all also gonna character, so it looks pretty interesting, you could definitely make a nice little creative off with this one. And these are the grand prizes for those that actually did the best following the categories. We have Mary Shiro's Mind right over here, which has a little brain above a little trophy with some wings, and this kind of hints that it is a back accessory with wings, and we're gonna see this pattern a lot with the next few items. And this one was awarded for having the most creative gameplay, so that was a pretty cool item to get. And as you can see from the front, it looks like a wing, but from the back there is this trophy, so pretty interesting take on the trophy item, and all the other ones follow the same pattern of style. Then we have Spectacular Spectacles, which was best use of theme, which has little glasses on the top instead. Then we have Palace Perfection for visual art, so pretty nice one. Then we have this one with a star, which looks really nice, which is for best in show category. And the last one, we have Champion's Chip, which is the outstanding use of Roblox tech. So those were the trophies for that year, and now we're moving on to the final year, which was 2021, before the upcoming one, which is 2022. So once again, we're going to see a lot of the similar patterns over here. We do get another shirt, we got another lanyard for this year, we got another pin as well, but this time they added a different item instead of the commando, we got a cape this time. And it looks pretty cool, it has a little Roblox logo in the front, and it has a little nice blue RDC logo in the back, so definitely nice for a winter outfit. But once again, for the game jam, they had this flipped over trophy, this one's a bit of a lighter blue compared to the last one, and then we do have more items for this RDC similar to the last year, with the paint palette one, and for theme, they actually have a bug instead of glasses, which is pretty interesting, I think it looks pretty cool, a definitely pretty creative change they made there. Then they have the star once again for best in show, most creative gameplay, the brain once again, and the last one over here, the chip for outstanding use of tech. So those were the items for the Roblox developer conferences so far from 2016 to 2021. I think they all look pretty good and they're all pretty rare, only for those that actually did the best in some categories and not many people actually get to attend the developer conference. It is pretty exclusive. So overall, all of these items are pretty hard to find. So yeah, this was a pretty cool little look back on some of these things and we might see some of these trends continue in the upcoming years with the future Roblox developer conferences. But yeah, that is much this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.